garden tour. I have to pause for the semis going by on the highway. I thought I'd try something different today. I thought I would do a no talking garden tour and I don't know if you guys have ever, YouTube has lots of different um, videos obviously and one of my favorite things to watch are actually cleaning motivation videos and it might sound silly but watching someone else clean their house to music and um, like they speed it up really fast. That's something that I watch when I'm trying to get motivated to clean my house. It just kind of helps me get in the mood to do it. Um, but something that I've noticed I really like lately are the no talking cleaning motivation videos um, because I feel like sometimes the talking on, uh, even though they might be very good at what they say, not saying that they're annoying, um, but sometimes the talking is distracting. I thought that I would try something and I need you guys to let me know if this is something that like. So it's going to be more like a garden walkthrough than a garden tour. I'll make sure to put the names of the varieties of the plants on the screen so that you guys know what they are. Most of my seeds have come from Baker Creek. Um, I'll link their website in the description. They have free shipping. I've been very happy with all of the seeds I've gotten there. Their germination rate is wonderful and they have so many different things to choose from. So it's the beginning of August and sadly I feel like fall is on its way. We've had some really cool weather the last week which has been really nice. It's been a really nice break but I do see that some of my plants are sadly coming to an end showing a lot of stress. Um, so you will definitely see that in this tour. I'm all about keeping it real and showing you guys it is what it is. I don't want you to try to do this or you to look at your garden and think that you're doing something wrong because my garden looks wonderful. It does not look wonderful, it's not perfect and I definitely have some issues. You just have to balance that with your life and what you find value in and what how much time you want to spend on something. Uh, I still love gardening, I still find beauty in it and it's still something that I enjoy doing. All these things at the beginning of August showing signs of stress and dying off is doesn't bother me. If you're new here welcome my name's Nikki. I am currently gardening in zone 6a. I have 0.3 acres in the middle of town so we have chickens and a garden and I work full-time still and I have a family and then next spring we're hoping to move onto another property and that property is 10 acres with some woods and a pond and lots of room so I'm really excited to see where that takes us and I want to document this journey something that I can look back on and something that my kids can look back on because who needs spare time right and um, I want to see like our journey you know as we make this big pretty big move we've been here for over 10 years so it's going to be a really big move for us um, and I'm excited to see where it takes us. I would love to get some dairy goats and I would love to be able to really expand our garden and our um, just really spread our wings and see you know what we can do with some of this extra room. Okay so come along with me tell me what you think about this no talking garden tour in the comments below and then the grand finale that I'm going to show you guys are my black beauty tomatoes and um, if you follow me on Instagram or if you're on my Facebook group, Sassafras Road Homestead, um, I posted some pictures of my black beauty tomatoes and they are really black and I didn't think that they would get this dark. Most of the pictures I've seen are they're like a purple or a dark purple um, with a little bit of red in there but these are literally black so um, stay tuned. I'm going to save those for last because they look so cool. I picked one yesterday just because I... I wanted to um, but I've got two left and they're the only ones that I'm gonna get like like this plant is on the struggle bus big time it's the only ones I'm gonna get this year so I'm gonna show those to you and then I'm also gonna do another video about um, cutting into them and um, how they taste because I have not cut into them yet and I've not tasted them yet so this will be a new experience for me too
Well guys, that's it for today. Thanks for joining me. So I didn't show a lot of my green beans today just because um, they're green beans. And I just did a really thorough review of all the Baker Creek green beans that I have growing in my garden this year. So I have seven different varieties. So if you're interested in that, I'll leave a link to that video in the description below. And that way you guys can check that out. But I talk about all the different varieties that I'm growing, what have done well, what hasn't done well, and what I plan on growing next year. So I hope you enjoyed my no talk garden tour. If you like it, please let me know if you want me to do more of these instead of me talking through them, then um, let me know in the comments below. And I hope you all have a great rest of your week. Until next time.